Okay, I'm testing this out here with an old version of this head. I was using this earlier to test out the eyelid. I'm using brushless motors here. Just testing out the neck mechanism using one of these simple FOC shields on here. Right now I'm just driving this motor here for testing. So looking around the back here, I've got one of these motors back here and I've geared it down about two and a half to one with a belt. And I'm thinking this should be enough torque to move the head around. So we're gonna try that out now. Seems pretty good. Let's try a different position. Yeah, that's working out pretty well. All right, that's working out pretty well. Now it's a bit loose right now because the, uh, the rotation of the neck is totally free. I don't have any motor in here at all. And this one's not doing anything. So as this one is pushing the head around, it's actually quite loose to move. But I think this arrangement should work out uh, really pretty well. I don't need larger motors. These are totally sufficient. So over here at the code, you can see the angle positions of the sensor shooting by here. Right now I've got it set at zero. Let's uh, send it somewhere else. Minus 360. So that should jump around. All right, so this, this is radians, not degrees. Now right here, I've got the voltage set at about 3.5. I could put this up as high as about 5.5 if I want to get more torque out of these motors. But if I run them around here, I should be able to keep the motors running very cool almost all the time. So I should be able to keep them on for a very long time without them overheating in any way. Uh, remains to be seen in actual testing yet. So regarding the sensors that I'm using here, what I've done, I've uh, made these sort of adapter clips to go onto the back of the motor here. There's a little cavity in here for a magnet. And I'm using these A5600 magnetic sensors, which are quite cheap. I think they're about about five dollars for one of these boards which is quite nice so that's what I have over here and that seems to be working out pretty well so one of the major advantages with using these motors is they're significantly quieter than the brushed servos I've been using in the past, like these things here. Now you can still hear these when I, when they're running, but it's a lot better. It's a lot, lot less noise. So I'm currently in the process of redesigning the whole robot to use brushless motors instead of the servos I've been using before. Uh, here's part of the eye mechanism. Um, still working on this. This motor here happens to be a little bit too weak for this component, so I need to get a, a larger one here. 
Um, but for the the x-axis motors, these are totally appropriate for controlling the, the eyeballs, so they should be completely silent as well. So more on this in the future. All right, so lastly, I'll talk a bit about how I'm going to control these motors. So right now I'm using one of these simple FOC shields for uh, an Arduino board. But I've got these two other options here that I'm going to experiment with. This one can do two motors at the same time. The idea with this is on the back here, I need to attach these headers here such that one of these microcontrollers, or one like it, can plug in there. So this seems like it could work out pretty well, because this can only do one motor. And then over here, I've got this much smaller board. So I might be using some of these as well. Only one motor. And it's going to need to be hooked up to some kind of a microcontroller as well. I think probably I'll use one of these uh, ESP C6 boards maybe paired with one of these. Need to test things out. 